Hey guys, welcome back to another Straight Talk. We're here at our Istanbul office with Cameron Degen, and we have breaking news Indeed. today, Cameron. It has just been announced that the Turkish government is raising the threshold for the citizenship from $250,000 up to $400,000. Now, the news are very fresh. We do not know a ton of details, but uh, it has been said that it's been approved by the president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. So it is official and we'll be receiving more details on it uh, in, in, in the following days. A lot of people have concerns, and we want to do this episode right now with the information that's in our hand to address the concerns of our clients. First of all, Cameron, what do you think about this? Well, um, we expected this. In fact, over a year ago, we had done a, an episode um, speculating that it would probably... Uh, be raised to $500,000 before the end of 2021. We were wrong there, so it seems that we were out by three, four months, maybe five months right. or so. So now it appears that um, it is being raised to $400,000, from 250000 to four hundred, dollars Which is um, lower than what we expected. Which is slightly lower, about 20% lower than, 25% uh, lo lower than what we expected. Um, now, I think the, the reasons behind this, uh, sort of there are several reasons behind this. Um, certainly, um, the $250,000, when you look at it with, with the, with the, uh, as a spend for citizenship for an entire family, husband, wife, um, and children under the age of 18, the average family I is um, made up of four um, applicants. Um, this is our experience so far. And there are also families that are well in excess of four applicants. So if you look at it as citizenship per head, the cost is really um, around $60,000, dollars $60, $65,000. It's a figure that we had, I think, calculated before. So when you take all these into account, um, considering also that there are the, the, the general elections next year, which means that this is one particular thing that will certainly come under scrutiny. Mm -hmm. um, it's a political um, matter, so to say. Um, all the factors leading up to this, as we had expected before, um, has given rise to increasing the citizenship level. Right. And the demand is very, very strong, as you know. And it is getting stronger and stronger. So if we look at citizenship applications per month, over say the last three years you will notice that every month even during COVID months the applications have been going up and up and up at an increasing uh, at an increasing yeah. level which means obviously like anything else it's it's a commercial thing right uh, for the government it's 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 a foreign direct investment at the end of the day yeah. so if the demand is not very very elastic and it seems that it may not be very, very elastic, then you can increase the price or something and still maintain almost all, um, if not most, of the demand. Of course. Of and course. I think this is yeah. exactly what will happen. Because $400,000 is not too far away yeah. from $250,000, given the fact that 250 was introduced back in 2018. And we, I mean, the world is battling with inflation, yeah. right? So um, 250, when you adjust it to inflation as of today, is I think around 350 anyway. Yeah. So $400,000 is, you know, retaining the value back in 2018. So I exactly. do not personally see this as a, Big time increase. It's not a. It's right. not a big time increase. Yeah. And, and, and uh, relatively, I, I'd speaking, say it's it's a bit of a modification type I, of thing. I, I yeah. think so. And relatively speaking, if you look at other countries, again, an episode which we covered mm -hmm. before, other countries offering similar um, schemes, even at four hundred thousand dollars, considering a family, an average family being made up of four applicants is still very economical if of you look course, at it that way because still you don't very have com comparable right. you don't have crazy application fees no, you don't you have don't. ongoing yeah. costs expenses or crazy taxes and etc but, but but anyway let's let's, uh, let's get down to right. the matters that uh, are giving people concerns of course let's address people's concerns okay. let's start for, from one by one mm. 
I'm a client. Okay. I have been thinking about investing. I, I, I even booked my ticket. I'm coming to Turkey next month. I have okay. my right. 250 ready anyway. Okay. Am I going to be affected by this? Okay. I can't, or anybody at this very point in time, cannot tell you yes or no. Um, I can only tell you what I think will happen. Um, as you know, the news flash we had this morning is what I would call a pre-announcement. Mm -hmm. It's the government is basically saying, "Hey, we have decided that we're doing this." Yes. But they have not yet announced exactly how they will do it. In other words, they have not yet filled in the the bucket, so to speak. They have not yet. Um, announce all of the criteria of and conditions applicable to the revision in the law of citizenship. Now, what I suspect will happen, and I made a few calls to a few lawyers, and I took their opinions too. Yeah. What I suspect will happen is within the next 10 days or so, the government will come out with the final version of the new citizenship by investment law, which will supersede the existing one and replace it. Certainly, the figure will be, instead of $250,000, it will be $400,000. However, the big question is, when will this be effective from right. your scenario? You've accumulated your $250,000. You bought your ticket. You're coming to Turkey in two weeks' time with a view to investing and applying for citizenship. Are you going to be affected or not? Well, you may or may not do. The chances are that when they announce it, they will give a future date yes. and say something like this. Um, as of 30th of June 2022, if you have already sent your funds to Turkey and you can evidence the receipt of funds in Turkey by a bank advice for the purposes of citizenship application, then you will be bound by the $250,000 um, citizenship application. If your funds arrive to Turkey after, let's say, 30th of June 2022, then the valid figure for you will be $400,000. Right. I believe an opinion shared by the two lawyers I spoke to today I believe this is how they will do it. They will look at the date that the money hits your bank account in Turkey or your app appointed bank account in Turkey. That's the date they will look at. I get it. But th at, at this point, this is still a speculation. Well, this you is know, my opinion. This, this and is this is opinion. exactly right. what they had done in the past previously yes. when they moved it from $1 million, if you remember, Down at the end of 2017, to $250,000. Yes. They looked at the date that money had come in. Yes. And, you know, in the last year or two, they had done a few fundamental changes to the existing law, still maintaining the $250,000, but they had changed this or that, if you remember. And each time they made a change, the applicable date was the date of funds coming into Turkey because that's a certain evidenceable documentary date because at the end of the day the reason why this program is in place to yes. begin with is to increase the foreign currency it, reserves of, of the country of so long as that is in the country the government wouldn't have exactly. any problems to do that but let's let's close in on this let's let, let's address a few more concerns I have come to Turkey and already reserved the property. I've already paid $10,000 reservation fee, and I'm, ab I'm about to transfer my funds. Am I going to be affected by this? Okay. Well, in fact, um, we currently have at least 50, 60 clients in that very boat. People who reserved their properties in the last 20, 30 days um, yet they have not sent the funds over to Turkey yet. Because as you know, um, there's always a time lag between reserving your property 
and sending the funds because you reserve the property then it takes a few weeks for your lawyers to look at your contract the contracts get signed then you organize your funds to be transferred it could take another week or two so there's always a time lag of between two sometimes up to four weeks between the time of reserving and sending the money now will you be affected okay if your money hits your account today no if your money hits your account next week, most probably no. The week after, most probably no. So what's the date? I'm not talking out of thin air here. As I said, as I address your first question. So these people will be in the similar situation. Similar situation. They will give a date and that will most certainly be a future, a certain future date. Right. And they will say, provided your funds come in up until that particular date, your application will be completed with the $250,000 route. After that date, then you're under the $400,000 route. Now, I don't know what that date is. However, we speculate that it will be some date within the next 30 to 50 days. In other words, in our opinion, when I say our, it's my opinion plus two lawyers I spoke to today, um, we have at least a 30-day window, maybe a bit shorter. Let's say three to four-week window from today to get our money in. Yes. Okay? So that's where we are. As a matter of fact, um, the first thing I did today is I spoke to all our sales advisors and I said to them, please, please get onto your clients who have made reservations but have not yet sent their funds over to Turkey. Send in the money get onto ASAP. them and, and, and put some pressure on them to send their funds ASAP. Okay. Okay? Um, because we don't know when that date will be. I'm almost 100% sure there'll be enough time for people to organize and transact their funds coming over from overseas to Turkey, Got it. which, you know, th this is what, two, three weeks, maybe up to four weeks at the most. I think that's the window we're going to get Okay. from today. Let me ask you another one. I have reserved my property and also transferred my funds, okay. but I have not yet applied for citizenship. You haven't obtained have, your conformity I, letter or, 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 or whatever. You're, you are safe because your funds have hit Turkey and you can evidence that and support a document showing that funds to your name mm -hmm. have arrived from overseas. Okay? Um, and here is the bank receipt or bank statement showing that. You are safe. Okay, answer me this. I have transferred my okay. funds. I have obtained my title lead. I have applied for citizenship. I have received my letter of conformity, which is a letter that um, that is given by the title deed office yeah. that confirms that these properties are applicable yes. uh, for citizenship. I even have that paper. My application is in process. Is this going to affect me? No. The change. It won't. Will it? The bottom line is, the bottom line is, um, if you have an application that is currently under process. In other words, you have submitted all the paperwork, including the bank receipts, you know, the conformity letter, and other various paperwork that you are requested to submit. Um, you're safe. Yes. Um, you have obtained your conformity letter, but you have not yet submitted your citizenship application. You are safe. And I am speculating, and I, as I say, I'm almost 100% sure that you haven't started your process at all yet. You have purchased your property and you have sent your funds over and your funds have hit your account in Turkey or your appointed account in Turkey or lawyer's account, whatever. Um, but you've done nothing more than that so far other than selecting the property you're investing in. You haven't even obtained the title lead yet. I'm 100% sure, 
or let's say 99.9% sure, you are safe. Yes. Okay? So I think these are the main questions that, that our clients sure. will be asking. I mean, th there, are, there are many other questions because there are some people who have purchased the property and they have purchased the property on installments. They're, they're still sending a portion of the money. Came, they need the to rest. complete their right. installments up so, to 250 yes. ASAP. ASAP. Yes, and, and that being said, what is your advice for people who, who have you know these concerns right now? What should they do? Well, if you have already purchased or you are planning to purchase a property um, with a view to applying for citizenship um, currently, under $250,000 rule, do it ASAP. Do not delay it because it could be a matter of weeks, not months, but weeks before that level is no longer that level. Yes. That it becomes $400,000. Um, as I said, almost 99.9% .9 sure that we will have time at least two, three, if not four weeks to send the money from today. But I don't know beyond that. So my best advice is if you have already reserved your property, but you have not yet sent the funds to Turkey, do so as soon as you can. If you are planning to purchase a property, imminently one of these days just come over decide and do it under the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar range provided you are able to transfer your funds pretty quickly thereafter um, if you are looking to be bound by the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar range the key is when the funds hit your account in turkey that's the key date and I am saying that we have at least three, maybe four weeks for that to go from today. And today is the 13th of April, isn't it? It is, yes. Okay. So I'd say, I'd say we have definitely till the end of this month, maybe till the middle of next month as the effective date of money hitting your account in Turkey to be considered for $250,000, irrespective of what stage of application or purchase you are. Okay? okay. Is, it, is that clear enough? I think, I think, I mean, with this, with the information that we have at this stage, yeah. this is I think, enough I, of I think, I think information is is, provide, yeah. provided. Yes. Is. So the more information we have, the more we'll be providing it. Check out our social media accounts because when a news come on, we, we we went to let it out as soon as possible. Yeah. So follow us on Instagram uh, to be upload to be updated about the news. Uh, subscribe on our YouTube channel. We will also be uh, sharing those updates. And the client advisory department here, uh, people will be informing their clients over the phone. And if you haven't reached out to us already with this WhatsApp number, please do reach out to us. Get in touch with a consultant, and they should tell you what you should do uh, ASAP. Right? Absolutely. Cameron, thank you very much. Thank you. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.